experience anti-Semitism? Um, not in any overt way. Uh, no, I would say no. Uh, I haven't traveled a whole lot in uh, the Middle East or in Islamic countries, mm -hmm. but when I have, uh, Turkey, uh, Indonesia, I, I have not experienced any 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 uh, any problem, you know, by having a Jewish surname. Mm -hmm. So no, I can't say I've really experienced anti-Semitism. Do you think that, and is it your experience, and I also know you've done a lot of research, like do Jews run the world? Are Jews running, are Jews the reason why everything is terrible in the world as a lot of narratives aim to convince us? <laughs> no, um, I don't believe that. Um, that way of thinking is actually on a, deep level, the same as the way of thinking that generates the Holocaust, which is that you try to find, it could be Jews, it could be could be some other group, but you try to find the bad guys mm -hmm. in order to explain everything that is painful and uncomfortable and tragic in the world with the idea that if you eliminate the bad guys, then we won't have any problems anymore because they were the source of the problems. Mm -hmm. So that's the same, that, that was the point I made in that essay that got me in trouble. I'm like, that's the same thought form that is feeding the persecution of the unvaccinated. Mm -hmm. It's like, let's, you know, COVID's still here, you know, like, like we have not all become safe and healthy all of a sudden because of, you, you know, even though the vaccines have been, oh, that must be because of the unvaccinated. Mm -hmm. Like this, this, and, and the exclusion from society, like like really inhuman proposals about what to do with the unvaccinated were becoming current. And I'm, I, was, I was alarmed by it, partly because of my Jewish heritage. Um, it's like, we've seen this before. We've seen this kind of scapegoating before. So this way of thinking I'm really allergic to, mm -hmm. you know, to, to locate evil in some subcategory of human beings. Right. Now that doesn't mean like, yeah, I think that there are a lot of Jews in um, positions of power uh, in, especially in the financial industry and, you know, in, in politics in various ways, a lot of the neocons in the US are Jewish. Mm -hmm. um, but that doesn't mean that, you know, we don't, I don't want to like reverse cause and effect here. It's not that because they're Jewish, they're there, you know, it's not that like that membership in the elite is is controlled by Jewish people. It could be um, because of certain cultural traits that help Jewish people rise to high positions, and it could be in the in you know elite institutions, uh, or it could be in academia. You know, it could be in business in other ways. Like suppose, like I mean, there's a lot of successful Jewish auto auto dealer owners, you know, running like Ford dealerships. Right. Like they've done really well. Is that because there's, you know, an evil like a conspiracy to install Jews in, in successful auto dealerships, or is it because maybe there's some cultural thing of working hard, you know, or some traditions of business savvy, or something like that? I don't know. Right. Uh, but I, I, you know. That that would be my go-to explanation if I were gonna. I, I mean, I haven't really done that much research, you know, into just how prevalent Jewish people are in global power structures, et cetera, et cetera. You know, and if I and I'm not that interested in doing that. If I did, that would be the first explanation that would occur to me. Right. Yeah. yeah. Of course. Thanks for tuning in, Tribe. If you are finding any value whatsoever from my videos, I'm inviting you to feel into becoming a paid supporter on either my Patreon platform, my Locals platform, or Dare to Dream. 
both. The path of the truth-telling journalist has gotten quite a bit crunchy over the past few years. The shadow banning and the censorship have really taken their toll. So your support allows me to keep on keeping on, to keep on making videos and sharing my content. So once again, if you are receiving any value from what I'm doing here, if you're digging my videos, if they make you smile, if they make you think, um, Thank you for supporting me on Patreon, on Locals. Your support really, truly allows me to continue to do this.